Hello everyone, welcome to the finale of our Ether Rays run. I'm DTM as always, and yeah, the new Fae channel came out, and I did a live stream my reaction to it. As a recording, it's been, um, I think, four hours since the Fae channel got dropped, and oh my goodness, this new live PvP mode is actually kind of fun, at least early on. <laughs> so super excited about that, and I definitely tried it out. But now it's time to focus, because again, we have no ladders this Ether Raids for the rest of this Ether Raids run. Thankfully, um, we can lose max another minus 60 on defense, which means uh, we can potentially have one sack play. Potentially two, depending if our next defense result is a win. But yeah, again, I'd rather not go that way. But nothing else to do but to hope and see. Same teams as always, and yeah, let us begin. As always, if you like the content, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that jazz to help support the channel. Only takes 5 seconds to subscribe, but I truly do appreciate everyone that has supported me. And yeah, I'm very grateful. <sighs> Here we go. Alright, lift here. Okay. Roy and Hector being next together is very interesting. Micaiah though right here is going to be very annoying. I can I can definitely see that. So I think what I want to do is um there's no healing tower. Or we can easily snipe the healing tower. So I'm honestly thinking of um of uh, taking out, um, going on this side first. Obviously, we want to avoid the Micaiah, so we probably want to break these two down. Thankfully, no armor march, so this should be all that happens. But yeah, this is definitely uh, a fallen Edelgard map shameless. right here. Yeah. Close your eyes. Yeah. What? All right. That hurts. Over here? You have my trust. Now we do have the option of either going in or not. What does this do again? Okay, nothing. Bolt Fighter is uh, very scary though, but yes. I think we have enough speed to outspeed, out so way. that doesn't matter. That'll just be a kind of speed check. So let's take out Hector. What? Out of my way. And I guess yes. we might as well one shot Roy. And if Edelgard does not survive this, I'll be very disappointed. Like, actually so disappointed. What's next? Onward! Oh, I'll do it. Alright. Nice one shot. With utter certainty. Yes. What? Why not? Out of my way. And we can take out Ephraim and Micaiah, and then step back. Yeah. What? 
And then we can take Lip out on the following turn. Yes. I won't lose. Consider it done. Your and this should be safe to do. Over here? Alright, I think this should be GG's. Understood. Yep. GG's. Good games. Another successful clear. I will get what I want. Guide my hand. Alright, we survive. Alright. GG's. On to the next one. Alright, it's the final day, and, um, you might be wondering, DTM, what are you doing in the home screen? Well, it's literally an hour and 40 minutes until the deadline to do AR, but I haven't been doing it because I've been gaming with Lucina. Oh yeah. Honestly, this mode has been pretty fun, to be perfectly honest, although I do not recommend grinding this out. I just wanted to do it because I can. But yeah, I'm officially the number one Lucina player in Fae, so I that's a feels good moment. But because of that, we literally only have an hour left in AR. So yeah, hopefully we can still uh, make Vault as well. So yeah. Match number seven, only need one pot. Oh, and also I got a minus 40, which is really unfortunate. It's a AR classic, clearly. And uh, I, this is new, but another success. Why couldn't this have been later? It's just how it is. <laughs> All right. Anyways, match number seven. Um, I think this means I only have one sack play available for me. I think. I'll, I'll redo the math afterwards, but... Um, uh-oh. I see, uh, Mariel. Oh. Okay. Hmm... Okay, so... This, to me, speaks Gale Force. Um, there's no turn one, at least as far as I can see. The only question is, how do we, uh, go about this? Because, like, there's just way too many threats. Like, lift here, potentially. Um, Micaiah will do a huge amount of damage to Fallen Edelgard. But actually, like... I think there is a way to effectively trap everyone just with these two. Mira would still be able to attack, but but hopefully Mira will be able to survive. <clears throat> I mean, we will be able to survive Mira, I hope. Yeah, actually, I like that a lot more, because if we do this right, we don't have to rely on, um, turn one. Okay, I think I have a play. We don't have to rely on the bolt trap, that's what I'm trying to say. We could just, uh take out Reinhardt, and then go over here, and then take out Micaiah, and then go over here. 
Well, the only problem is, do we, uh... Do we, uh, one-shot? Uh, Mirabilis, I hope not. We would have to do this, um... Before... Before turn 3, though. Because... Alright, let's see. 38 defense, that is all... Mira gets, I believe? Um... We'll get Wings of Light, um... On turn 2. So that is plus 4. Anything else? I think we can only assume that. Um, so... Yeah. So, plus 4 then. So that is 42 defense. How much um, attack will we have? We have 62, that'll become 65. This is effectively uh, 71. And then this will probably be maxed, so let's assume the worst. And that is uh, 80. So we can, does Mira have at least 80 bulk? Okay, Mira just dies, unfortunately, so we can't do that play. Hmm. Honestly, it's always very scary. I'm honestly just very tempted to, uh... Oh wait, no. Lyft only has Gale Force. What? That might be an issue, though. Hmm. Yeah, there's not a way to get Micaiah, so I think we just have to, like, do this old school. There's so many dancers, though. Hmm. I could probably Gale Force it, but this relies on, like, these being at least 20 traps, and... But, like... Lift will probably do a lot. Actually, hold on. I think I got it. This is not a Gale Force. Um. Hmm. Yeah, there's no turn one force, so I think we should be fine to just do this. Hold on, who has the defense tactic? Well, I mean, it's not like we're going to get anything besides the res. But, yeah. There's no... Again, there's no seventh... There's no turn one force. What? 
Okay. This should be fine. Gotta love Kanto not needing this. Oh, whoops, I forgot to turn on animations. My bad. Also, I probably should have this on too. Hmm. Uh, hmm. We definitely want to take out Micaiah. I'm pretty sure. Who has Wings of Mercy? All the dancers. Savage Blow doesn't, um deal with us, so... And the panic is only affecting, um... So, ho maybe this, maybe like, a I'm gonna see if I can manipulate the AI on this. Mira Maribel should prefer this tile, but that sh still shouldn't reach anyone. Out of my way. So if we go here, either M Maribel is forced to dance, is forced to attack, and then Ninian can Ninian or Mira has to do it. What? So yeah, this sh this should be the play. Again, I only need one pot. Okay, that, that works too, I guess. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, I did not expect that. But we should be fine, because all of the, uh... All of the dances have been used up. I think. Or Ninian just gets baited. <laughs> okay, I got really lucky on this one. Clearly. Hmm. Yes. What? Hmm. I'm, I want to see if we can, like, um, it's, this debuff is so bad for us, like, actually. But I wonder if, like, Lucina can take out uh, Steros. I think Lucina should be able to. If we just position this right. Unfortunately, no matter what we do, this is needed so that we can get out of the way. Yes. Yeah. Close your eyes. And we definitely survive uh, Maribel at least once. Over here? What's next? Oh yeah. Easy. What? Alright, let's take out Maribel here. And we need to hold, unfortunately.
But I think either way, uh, Lucina should be safe, right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way Lucina, like, dies to, uh, lift, what? so it's probably best to stay here. With utter okay, one thing that, um, we haven't figured out yet is how to get the pots, but thankfully, lift. Okay, this is actually really good for us because, um... Uh, yeah. Yep. Good, 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 good. Yes. Okay, the question is, how in the world do we get this pot? Hmm. I think we definitely want to take out Mirabilis. Oh, I'll do it. We need to somehow get a Plumeria in range of Mira. I think that's like literally the only way. Understood. Yeah. Hmm. Why not? Oh, I'll yeah, there's it. no way, Mira. Close your eyes. Yeah. Wait. We don't have Kanto anymore. Um, yeah, Anna should be fine. Anna definitely outspeeds, and, um, there's no way bonus Anna. Well, actually, Anna does outspeed, so maybe, maybe it would be better to just... Okay, good. Okay, we can stall like this. Hmm. One, two, three. Okay. Your orders. Okay, I think I got this. My trust. Only need one pot. What's next? All right, GGS, good games. That was a bit scary. Not gonna lie. <laughs> oh man, let's not do that again. All right, last match. Okay. Um. Do I have rematch options? Let me see. I mean, there's this one that I think would be pretty good. Fallen Edelgard probably means it's one in a corner. and So I can probably take this one. I'm gonna take this. No, not a replay. I'm gonna take this, yeah. Whoops. My bad. Okay, I think I chose poorly. <laughs> hmm. But 
But the good news about this is that there's no, like, turn one force. So... Hmm... Arden is actually a huge threat, though. Um, I'm gonna need Reagan to take out Arden. Plus 10 Arden, okay. I should have taken- I should have just taken a random, honestly. Hmm. Yeah, this is not a Gale Force, like, at all. Especially with Fjorm. Yeah. Alright. Here we go. The good news about Arden is that, like, there's no, like, defense. <laughs> so, who has the attack tactics? Okay, Reagan, never mind. Yeah, I think I got this. Yeah. Uh, no turn one force, thankfully. Unfortunately, this panic manner will be affecting uh, Reagan, but that should be fine, I think. Why not? Yeah, should be. We should be able to one shot Arden, if I did my maths correct, this. and from like experience. Alright. Please be enough. With utter is this real or fake? Okay, that one's real. Yeah. Which is really good for us. Over here? Which means we don't have to waste a dance on Just um. Like Actually, we do, but it's okay, because, um... Because everyone's gravitied. Close your eyes. Onward. So yeah, let's just do this. What? Okay, goodbye, Fjorm. I mean, Lagarn, not Fjorm. Uh, goodbye, um... Now goodbye, Fjorm. Oh wait, what? Uh-oh. I thought I had another action. What? There must have been some guard thing. Okay, that's unfortunate, but... That's fine, we do have one, um... Was, what was it? We do have w at least one, um, sacrifice we can do. Out of my way. And yeah, we can definitely do that. Consider it 
Hmm. One, two, three. What? If I do this. Yeah. Okay. That was fake, anyways. Oh, I'll do it. So I that means we know this one is real. So. What's next? Yeah. I think this should be GG's. Alright. Okay. This should get us the bonfire hit. It indeed it does. On the damage reduction turn. I am absolute. And this should be what? GG's. One. Alright, I think we can debuff. My trust. There we go. Alright, good games. We should survive and stay in vault. That was really scary. That could have ended so badly when I didn't get the extra action from Edelgard. Gotta check those guard skills, I guess. But no, we survived. We made it to tier 38. We maintained vault by the skin of our teeth. Obviously not top 3k, but, you know, for no ladder run, um, this was such a relief. And I'm super glad it ended off uh, with us being able to stay. Especially given that the new Life Mythic freebie should be out soon, so I definitely want to try that, out, try that out and have fun with that. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that jazz to help support the channel. I'm trying... Once again, it only takes 5 seconds to subscribe, but it truly does help support the channel and keep it continue growing, and I'm very grateful for everyone that has done so. And yeah, let me know how your Aether Rates runs went so far, and are you enjoying the Summoner Duels game mode? I know I am. Alright, thank you all, and see you all next time!